To this day, we have only explored about 5% of the ocean. In fact, it's said that we have explored and discovered more about space than we have the ocean. Something literally on our own planet. Seems pretty unbelievable, but alas, it is true. So could it be that we have weird, massive underwater monsters lurking in our ocean? In particular, the deepest underwater place, aka the Mariana Trench? Well, that's what I'm aiming to answer only in today's video. Like I mentioned, the Mariana Trench is the deepest underwater place that there is on Earth. Its deepest point is called the Challenger Deep, and it reaches a depth of nearly 11,000 meters, which is 36,000 feet, or nearly 7 miles. It's so deep that if you were to submerge Mount Everest completely, even then, its peak would still remain a mile underwater. You get it, it's deep. With that being said, because of how deep it is, it's so hard to explore it and the rest of the ocean for that matter. There's a couple of reasons as to why this is. First, you got the intense pressure. Although we don't notice it, the pressure of the air pushing down on our body at sea level is about 15 pounds per square inch. The deeper you go down, the more intense the pressure gets. On a dive to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, we are talking about over 1,000 times more pressure than at the surface. That's the equivalent of the weight of 50 jumbo jets pressing on your body. That wouldn't be the only issue though. The deeper you go, the less light there is and the colder it gets. With that being said, four crew descents down to the Mariana Trench have taken place earliest 1960. The most recent descent took place in 2019. During the trips, they did find some sea creatures that they have never seen before. They're all complex organisms with big long names. I swear, they should stick to something more simple like green plant one or spiky pink thing two. Anyways, one thing they noticed is deep sea gigantism. As in, the deeper you dive down, the bigger the sea creatures are compared to similar creatures at shallower depths. You think that if anything, deep sea pressure would keep animals smaller and not larger. But no, the organisms are mostly water themselves and water is not very compressible. In fact, the buoyancy of the organism is what allows them to grow so large. Another theory as to why they can grow so big is due to the fact that there are fewer predators down there in the first place, so it lets them grow bigger. Or because there are less resources down there, the creatures evolve to have larger larger body plans which can more easily handle periods of famine. Now let's take a look at some of these gigantic creatures. For example, there are massive 12 foot long crabs, colossal squids that can grow up to 14 meters, and giant isopods. Isopods are very similar to pill bugs or roly poly bugs or potato bugs, whatever you call them. But they are massive. They can reach a length of 76 centimeters, when typically they only grow between 8 to 15 centimeters. So one thing that's for sure is that the deeper you go down, the larger the ocean life becomes. Which makes us wonder, what if the megalodon is living down there, or the kraken, or other extinct sea beasts? Well, the megalodons were 59 foot long sharks that had massive 7 foot wide jaws. That is about triple the size of today's great white sharks. They had around 276 teeth, and their teeth were over 7 inches long. They also had the most powerful bite of any creature that ever lived. Based on the book Meg, a novel of deep terror by Steve Alton, the Meg was said to be hiding in the Marianas Trench, but unfortunately that is not true. Because of the lack of light in the trench, this prevents photosynthesis from occurring. No photosynthesis means not much food, so the Megalodon would have trouble finding things to eat down there. Now these things ate a lot. It's estimated that a Megalodon ate about 2,500 pounds of food each day. That is a lot of food. So the trench would not be an ideal living situation for them. Next up, we have mermaids. Some believe that these mythological creatures are not so mythological, and that they are real and living in the Mariana Trench. Now, to be fair, scientists have said that there might be something mermaid-like in the ocean. Maybe not completely half human, half fish. They probably don't speak English and like to sing to sailors, but maybe a creature that has a long mermaid-like tail and a more human-like body. In fact, they probably won't be as beautiful with that long 
flowy hair. Their face will probably be more fish like and they probably have scales all over their body. Anyways, with that being said, if they could survive off of eating organisms from the ocean floor, then maybe they could be lurking down there. Again, this is a huge maybe. The truth is, we need to learn more about the trench first. The more we dive down there, collect samples and such, the more we'll be able to tell what's living down there. And lastly, let's talk about the legendary kraken. According to Norse legends, the kraken lives off the coast of Norway and Greenland and wreaks havoc on passing sailors. It is thought that the story of the kraken originates from the 13th century in a Norse legend about Orvar Oder. In Greek mythology, it's said that the kraken was created by Hades to slay the titans. Then over the course of the 18th century, there was an influx of stories surrounding the kraken. In these stories, the kraken was depicted in a number of ways, mainly as a large octopus, squid-like creature. But apparently, it used to resemble something more like a crab with long, thin appendages and not tentacles. However, over time, it got transformed into looking like a cephalopod. With that being said, some believe some of these stories are true. But it could be that sailors were just seeing giant squids and not the kraken himself. Either way, could the kraken, if he's real, be living in the trench? Well, similar to the Meg, this dude would have a big appetite, and there wouldn't be enough food down there available for him. Giant squids like to eat deep water fishes and even other squids. Although they do like to reside in deeper areas so that they're away from predators, they still wouldn't be too successful living down there. Now, recent expeditions have found a number of creatures living out in the trench, such as xenophyophores, amphipods, and holothurians. The most interesting and impressive organisms, though, are the xenophyophores. These microbes are single celled, but their widths are measured in inches. So that is incredibly large for a single celled organism. Typically, they need to be viewed with a microscope, but these creatures are like four to 10 inches long. It's super weird to say the least. In the end, like I mentioned before, we need to find a way to better explore the trench and the Challenger Deep. Only then will we be able to tell what exactly is down there. But what do you guys think is lurking in the trench? Are there mermaids? Are there krakens? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, you know the drill. Smash that like button, obviously subscribe to our channel. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see you.